Hey all, in this quick video I'm going to show you the basics of adding a custom expression to Chuck. Well, it's more of a mutation actually. It's a pretty simple procedure once I import Chuck's model into 3D Exchange. In the expression editor, I'm going to go to the custom tab in order to create my own facial expression profile. You'll see that there are a lot of bones in the standard G5 face, so I can reduce the bone size in order to see the face better. Now what I'm going to do next is assign different mouse movements to different facial shape changes. Chuck has a big old nose, so let's start with that. For the mouse up movement, I'm going to select the tip of the nose, and then lift it up a bit. This will be the target shape now whenever I move my mouse up in the facial puppet panel. After I'm finished, I'll just press set and then move on to the next state, this time moving it to the right. You can select multiple bones and do multiple edits at a time, just as long as you press set button after your edit, it will remain. I'm just going to continue with the downward mouse movement and then the left one assigning each mouse movement to a corresponding change in the nose position and size. Once all that's done, I can press OK to exit the expression editor and then apply to iClone to bring the new improved Chuck back in. What I'll do right away is just go into the Facial Puppet tool and then go down to select my custom 3D Exchange profile. When I do that in preview, you can see the effects of my mouse movement on the face according to the changes I made in the expression editor. You can do lots of cool things with this tool, such as morphing the face, as well as other objects.